Jack Armstrong, Jack Armstrong, Jack Armstrong, the all-American boy. Jack and his companions find their way into the tunnels where the Grotto Laboratory is located. Learning of this, Professor Zorn plans to trap them. And now, as our party is horrified to realize that it's taken refuge in the resting place of the ponderous aeroglobe... Hey, look! Mr. Hardy! Look down. Quick, flatten yourselves against the wall. Well, Professor, I suppose Jack Armstrong and the Fairfield have been well taken care of. There's no doubt about it. I'll just look around to make sure. All right, come out of there and keep your hands off that gun. You can cover, Jackman. I'll go find out what we're to do with him. Calling. Zorn calling. Groot talking. What is it, Zorn? We captured Jack Armstrong and his friends in the tunnel. What shall we do with them? Dispose of them immediately. Very well. You heard the order. Radio message from Paris. As soon as I finish this little job. No, come back at once. Pierce just radioed that his ship is arriving. When you finished your job, report to Groot. Right. Could they? There's the answer. Which way they go? I don't know.
Rude. Gregory Pierce, welcome to the island. Is everything under control? Moving on schedule. How was your trip? Oh, uneventful. Did you bring everything we ordered? Here's the manifest of our cargo. It also includes everything necessary to complete the Cosmic Beam Annihilator. Splendid. Within a week, the world will know it has a new ruler. I also brought those special bombs you requested. Although I had a hard time obtaining them. We may need them to pull another magic trick on the natives. And by the way, have my friends been giving you any trouble? Quite a bit. But we have them trapped in the tunnel at present. Blair is just taking care of them. I'd hope to avoid bloodshed. Hello, Pierce. Hello, oh, Blair. You don't seem to be bringing good news, Blair. Jackman let Armstrong and the Fairfields escape. <laughs> well, what's so funny? I don't believe you'll be having any trouble with that little group. That's what you think. You better have Exalta order the natives to handle them. No, they botched the job once. We'll find another way. Do you have to resort to violence? Jack Armstrong and the Fairfields still think that you were their friend. Maybe you can do something. I'll be glad to handle the assignment. Provided I can do it my own way. It's all yours, Pierce, starting right now. What do you do, frighten them off by saying boo? Just let me work it out. Well, we'll be watching you. These coconuts sure taste good, don't they, Betty? They sure do. Well, I'd rather have them shredded on top of the cake. How about a coconut custard pie? Well, maybe yes and maybe no. It all depends. Now, it was one of my mother's homemade. I'm sure sleepy. We all need sleep. Coming, Jack? I'll be right along. What do you want? Princess Allura wants to see you alone. Why do you bring your knife? Some way afraid white fellow. What does the princess want? See you come. She tell much. Princess give ring, him fellow see. Yes, that's the ring she was wearing, all right. See you come? Yes, lead the way. afraid of, Naga, that you lose your place with the princess? She becomes suspicious more each day. I have helped you so far, there is no turning back for me. Have you told the princess anything about our work? You know I cannot. I do not know what your work is. Hmm. Except that you will be repaid. Well repaid. I'll make you the ruler of a thousand islands. I look eagerly to that day. You studied among white men. And you know how cruel they can be when they have the power to rule. One day, I'm going to give you that power. But now, what will you do now about the princess's suspicions? What can I do? I leave that to your god, Exalta. When he sees fit, he will speak. Calm your fears, Naka. Have faith in the clever mind of the white man. I look, Miana, as beautiful as a crescent moon in the heavens, princess. <laughs> Where was the princess going, Mayana? She did not tell me, Naga. Where did she go? Where did she go? To meet young white man. Where? 
at river below waterfall. You sent for me, Princess? Yes, to ask a favor. What is it? Once here on the island, all was peace. Yamela's people and mine were united. Then the white men came, and all was changed. That's because they were evil white men, Princess. Yet it was only when you and your people came that men were killed. We came because a friend was brought here a prisoner. How do you know he is here? Have you seen him? No, but we're positive he's on this island somewhere. I want you and your companions to leave the island at once. We can't leave until we find our friend. Besides, we have to stay here until a ship arrives. Today, a ship did arrive. What kind of a ship? A large one. They carried many things from it to that strange building up the river. What building? Where is it? Where the trail crosses the river. Strange sound and much smoke come from it. to attack those men. Why did you do it, Naga? You sent for him to meet you here. For what reason, Princess? What makes you think I did? Your maid, Mayana, told me. Some of your people do not favor your friendship with these white men. What did you tell him? Nothing. This isn't the way to camp, Jack. I know it. But Alora told me about a strange building up the river. I think we'd better look it over. All right. place. What do you think it is? Possibly a stamp mill or a place where they process minerals. Seems deserted. The men are probably up the trading post. Let's look around. Armstrong, Jim Fairfield. By thunder, I am glad to see you too. Gregory Pierce. Well, what in the world are you doing down here? I was worried when I didn't get a message saying you had landed safely. So I chartered a boat and came in search of you. We appreciate that, Pierce, but how'd you hit on this particular island? Well, I knew your general course, so I just followed it from island to island. This is the fourth one I've been on. But this is a long way inland. How did you get up here? Well, they were loading some things off the boat to be sent up here. So I came along for the ride. By the way, how is everything? Where are Betty and Billy? Well, that's a long story. Right now, we want to send a radiogram to the mainland. Well, I think I can arrange it. You just wait here. That's Jack Armstrong and Jim Fairfield. When I call you, I want you to take them in the storeroom and lock them in. Then what? That's all. There's going to be no rough stuff. Investigation should be made at once. End of message. Is that covered? Yes, that ought to bring them here fast. 
The operator's returned to the ship, but I'll have him send this as soon as I get back aboard. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, there is. Could you spare some arms and ammunition? You having trouble with the natives? Oh, that's putting it mildly. Well, did you get in touch with Rude, the traitor, and ask him to help you? We were suspicion he's the one that set the natives against us. And's holding Vic Hardy prisoner. Oh, I can't believe that. Of course, I only met him this afternoon, and he seemed like a decent sort. However, if you want some arms and ammunition, there's plenty in the storeroom. Fine. Slade! Slade! I'll have him take you up there. Yes, sir. Take Mr. Armstrong and Mr. Fairfield up to the storeroom and give them anything they want. All right. Right this way, gentlemen. Thank you. You're welcome. you're looking for, you'll find them in one of those crates over there. But I haven't got any idea which one. You two fellows give them a going over and I'll take a gander at these. Right. <laughs> this box is marked shoe polish. <laughs> That's a hot one. What are the natives going to use it for? They don't wear shoes. Hey, Slade, where are you going? I wonder why he ran out on us. I don't know, but we'd better find out. Well, this door's locked. Slade, Pierce! Look, that smoke. We've got to get out of here. Let's find something to break the door down with. What is the meaning of this vicious attack on Gregory Pierce? Does this indicate another hostile move on the part of the natives? For the answers, see Cavern of Chance, Chapter 7 of Jack Armstrong, the All-American Boy, at this theater next week. that Pierce is working with their enemies, Jack and Uncle Jim appeal to him for supplies from the ship on which he's just arrived. Pierce apparently agrees and has them conducted to the mill storeroom where... If it's weapons you're looking for, you'll find them in one of those crates over there. But I haven't got any idea which one. You two fellows give them a going over and I'll take a gander at these. Right. This box is marked shoe polish. <laughs> That's a hot one. What are the natives going to use it for? They don't wear shoes. Hey, Slade, where are you going? I wonder why he ran out on us. I don't know, but we'd better find out. Well, this door's locked. Slade, Pierce! Look, that smoke. We've got to get out of here. Let's find something to break the door down with. Here, give me a hand with it. about Fairfield, the kid Jack Armstrong. When he got rats in the storeroom, you fumigate. Where's Pierce? 
In the office, I'll get it. Not yet. We haven't figured out what to do about him. What do you mean? I mean that Pierce is slipping. He didn't like the idea of anything happening to that Fairfield bunch. So what? He's just chicken-hearted. Maybe. But Pierce is smart enough to figure angles. He might be playing his own game, selling us out and taking over himself. Then it's time to get rid of him. Not that way. We've got to make it look like an accident. Slade locking that door and planting that smoke bomb proves this was a deliberate plan to kill us. But who's behind it, I wonder? I don't know, but some of that gang are still around here. If they are, they'll be back eventually to see how their scheme worked. And when they come, we'll be waiting for them. We'd better put out the light. Oh, Marlin, wait a minute. Where are you going? I want to get rid of some dead rats. You mind if I go along? Now, that gas may be pretty strong. You better wait outside. You, Pierce. We'd better get him away from here, quick. Blair's told you about his suspicions of Pierce. Yes, and he also told me how Jack Armstrong and Fairfield got away last night. Yeah, and they took Pierce with them. So I've heard. Maybe they still trust Pierce, but I don't. Blair trailed them to Humorless Camp, and I've ordered him to keep close watch on their movements. Well, let's close in and wipe them all out. No, it's too risky. Humor has a lot of followers. We'll play a waiting game, and sooner or later we'll get our chance. Good morning, Gregory. How are you feeling? Much better, thanks. What happened to you last night, Mr. Pierce? Frankly, I don't know. I, I was knocked out by something. I have no idea by what or whom. Well, I have. There are plenty of suspects on this island. It might have been one of the gang who were holding Vic Hardy prisoner. I can hardly believe it. Have you any idea where Vic is? No, only that he's hidden somewhere on this island. And I'm in favor of continuing the search for him right now. Well, Vic was my friend, too. Let me join you. Fair enough.
What was that? Oh, probably some wild animal at that water we just passed. Some human animal. You two keep going. I'll take a look. Jack's met up with someone. He may need help. From what I've seen of him, he can take care of himself. Good hunting, Jack. This bird was trailing us. You know who he is? I never saw him before in my life. Well, I have. He's definitely one of the gang. Then we better take him back to camp. All right, let's go. Uh, again, the reaction is negative. Yes, but perhaps if we double the amount of solution J, we'll get a better reaction. Any progress on? Not yet, Brood. After Hardy's arrival, I thought the Godwick ray gun would be promptly completed. Constructing the first model was comparatively simple. Perfecting the master model is far more difficult. We've been combining the 706 mixture with Solution J, but we haven't yet discovered the proper proportions. All we can do is keep on trying. We'll get it. I'm asking you for the last time. Where's Vic Hardy hidden? And I'm still not talking. You wanna come here? You think you can loosen his tongue? Him fella, go! Go! Man, stop! Last man who no talk, his head here! Oh, this is all a bluff. Jack Armstrong and the Fairfields wouldn't let you pull a stunt like this. Prepare sacrifice table. Go! Sacrifice soon begin. You talk now? Sacrifice no good. Time soon up. Talk! Go to sacrifice table. Go! man to sacrifice table. No, 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 wait a minute, I'll talk. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Let's take it inside. Go. Now then, mister, you say Vic is held prisoner in some cavern. Can you lead us to it? I don't know where it is. Oh, you don't? Maybe you can refresh your memory. You want sacrifice table? I know where it is, all right, but I'd be killed if I took you there. I can draw a map showing its location. Loosen these bonds, Jack. Is anyone a large piece of paper? I have, Uncle Jim. You go north halfway to the sacred grotto. This will bring you to a high rock painted with crazy designs. Then you go east a quarter of a mile to a mass of rocks. Bear left until you get to a narrow winding trail. Follow this trail until you come to a passage between high rocks. It's sort of like an entrance to a tunnel. Blair, steering, Jack, Armstrong, and Fairfields on false lead into hidden well. Prepare reception. Piers. Those instructions seem clear enough. If we start now, we should reach the place within an hour. I 
better follow Pierce's instructions and see that our friends are properly received. I thought you said you didn't trust Pierce. He may be up to something. If he is, he signed his own death warrant. I'll see that the trap includes him. Betty, we don't know what we're running into. You better stay here with you, Milan. Oh, but Uncle Jim. Watch this fellow, Betty. And don't hesitate to use this gun if necessary. As one of poor Vic's friends, I insist on going along with you. It's the least I can do. Why not? This has better not be a wild goose chase. If I find you've tricked us, I'll save you more the trouble of taking care of you when we get back. do it. We'd better be getting out of here. Yeah, they'll be coming soon. There's the painted rock. This is where we turn east. sister as only getting a cigarette. Where did you get that case? It looks exactly like one Mr. Pierce owns. Maybe we got them at the same store. Why, it is his. Here's his initials, G.P. A radio set. Did Pierce use this radio to warn someone where Jack and the others were going? That is it. You and Pierce tricked us. You will not. Watch him. We watch. According to the map, this is the entrance. It must be. There's footprints. Well, evidently Blair was telling the truth. We'll find out for sure when we get inside. Wait a minute. Don't you think we ought to post a guard? It's a good idea. Suppose you stay, Pierce. Certainly, Jim. Gee, it sure is spooky in here. Somehow this doesn't look right. You can say that again. I've got an uncomfortable feeling that something's wrong. Maybe we should have brought Yumel and some of his tribesmen. Too late for that now. We might as well explore the rest of this passage and see where it leads to.
think we'd better turn back. You seem to forget we came here to find Vic Hardy. We've come this far. We might as well go on. What new turn of events is taking place at the trading post? Will Crude release the full power at his command to wipe out all opposition? Be sure to see The Secret Room, Chapter 8 of Jack Armstrong, The All-American Boy, at this theater next week. Obtaining information from Blair, their prisoner, as to where Vic Hardy is held captive, Jack, Billy, and Uncle Jim speed to that location. But Betty now learns that Blair has sent them into a trap. She attempts to warn them, but before she can reach them... I think we'd better turn back. You seem to forget we came here to find Vic Hardy. We've come this far, might as well go on. They'll follow us for a while. Say, that was a nice one-two you gave that fellow, Billy. Oh, that water was cold. I had to warm up. We certainly owe Betty a vote of thanks. Well, if you can't help a fellow out of a hole. Yeah, a nice cold, wet one, too. Into which of all people our friend Mr. Pierce dropped us. His turning up on the other side helps clear up a lot of things. He was in on the disappearance of Vic and other things. I'm sure of that now, and it's a good thing for us to know it. Well, we still got that fellow Blair tied up at Eumla's camp. He knows a lot of things we want to know. Let's go back there and give him a real workout. to see you. Get that knife over there. Oh, 
what happened. Many white men take white man away. Jack, Billy, see what you can do for those that are hurt. What we learned about Pierce today suggests that we might take stock of where we stand. Yeah, we know where Pierce stands, that's for sure. We know Vic Hardy's on this island. Exactly, but we don't know why. Though we can presume that it's in connection with some scientific experiment. We make party for white friends. Oh, thank you, Yumalan. You know, I'll bet everything that Pierce ordered from your factory is right here on this island. No doubt. But we don't know where this work is going on or who's the guiding mind behind it. Pierce knows. Too bad we didn't hold on to Pierce. Well, we must have been pretty close to finding out, Uncle Jim, or else they wouldn't be so anxious to get rid of us. That's right. I think their place is near that grotto or in those underground caverns. That would be my guess, too. But we tried that once and almost got flattened out. Yeah, they know something. Maybe even atomic power. I thought of that, too, Jack. And it doesn't sound too fantastic. Yes, it may be some atomic power even beyond the known elements. Well, that's what they need Victor for. That's right, exactly. No one we've run up against looks like he knows anything about atomic disintegration. How about our good friend, the traitor? Yeah, Groot always has seemed pretty smooth. Much too smooth. We may be wrong, but we can't overlook any possibility. I think we could do a bit of investigating at the trading post. Right. I still can't figure who knocked me out at the mill. It couldn't have been Jack Armstrong or one of the Fairfields. Forget it, Pierce. If you've had as much trouble with them as we've had, you'd believe anything. Then why isn't something being done? You know, I have asked that question several times. I think it's in your hands at the moment. Then just leave it that way. I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea about that. That is about me. Did you come here to squawk or report about the shipment you brought? Has it been unloaded? I checked it. Most of it's off. Now the two special cases... I got the two cases inside. As soon as the truck is unloaded, I'll send it to the laboratory. Then I'll get over and tell Zorn exactly what's coming. Mm -hmm. And also tell him that we want to see some results from that new man, Hardy. Or we'll have to put on a little pressure. That's my department. And before long, I hope that your department has all they can handle. Of course, that'll depend upon what he brought. Well, we have everything that Zorn ordered. Good. Blair, take him to the laboratory and hold everybody there. I'll be along in a little while. I have some special instructions for the whole outfit. Maybe we've hit a little pay dirt. Are we going to follow them, Uncle Jim? No, we'll stick to what we decided. Let's try to settle one thing at a time. Then let's go in the trading post. I think one can handle it better. I'll just walk in casually. But you keep your eyes open just in case. You better hold this, Jack. Good evening, Mr. Fairfield. How are you, Mr. Good? I'm surprised to see you so far away from your camp. Our camp? I didn't think anyone knew where we were. Well, I, I don't actually, but I imagine you made a camp somewhere. I came down because I was very anxious to see Mr. Pierce. Well, I think you'll find him at the mill. No, thank you. I've been there once. That's enough. Yeah, some people can be awful rough at times. <laughs> oh, so you knew about that, too? Yes, they tried out one of their special bombs on us. Tried to suffocate you? I didn't say it was a smoke bomb, Groovy. No, you didn't. I guess Pierce told me. I'd also like to learn something about the caverns under the native sacred grotto. Did you say caverns? Yes, that's right. I don't believe I know about them. Did that scientific equipment from the ship clear through the trading post group? Hm. You're full of information, Mr. Fairfield. I don't know that the ship brought any such equipment. Now, don't be disturbed, Groot. I only hope to pick up enough parts to set up a radio transmitter, that's all. That is something these island posts don't stop. Why, we'd never be able to sell that sort of merchandise to the natives. Just thought I'd ask. If you run into Pierce, tell him I'd like to see him. Well, I'll be happy to. And please check up on those caverns for him, Mr. Groot. I, I'm very anxious to see them. I'd hate to leave the island and have to go back and tell my friends that I'd missed such a sight. Thank you very much, Mr. Groot. Not at all, Mr. Fairfield. Have any luck, Uncle Jim? He may be our man. He's much too glib. He knew about the smoke pots being used on us at the mill. Then he decided to be very dumb. Said he never heard of any caverns. 
He denied knowing the scientific equipment came in on the ship. Did you see anything suspicious around the trading post? Not a thing, but I didn't expect much on that score. Look, there he is! He came out of the rear of the building. I don't remember any other entrance. Maybe we'd better have a little private investigation of our own. Right. I know how to get in. Wait here. This room certainly doesn't correspond with the outside measurements of the building. That's right. There must be a room on the other side of that wall. I don't see any door. There must be a secret entrance. Well, let's look for it. anything there it is Zorn calling Zorn calling What is this on? Is there some delay? No, there's no trouble. We'll expect the cases in a half an hour. Very well, Zorn. That gives us a little time. This man Zorn, I wonder who he is. Well, he must be one of Grood's gang at their hideout. I know how we can find that hideout. How? I'll hide in this case and he'll take me right to it. That's an idea. But I'd better go in the case, Billy. Oh, I thought of it first, Jack. We'll let Uncle Jim decide. No, Billy, I don't like to have you take that chance. Oh, but I want to. We can follow whoever comes to pick up the cases. Then we'll be there to help Billy. All right, Billy. You can probably join up with Vic. Between us, we might settle the entire affair. There's some tools. Let's get busy. Blair, take your men and go back to the trading post. And see that they don't escape this time. They probably think they've got another half hour. Yes, sir. I'll send over the equipment as soon as possible. In the meantime, I've got to get back to the post to see they don't mess this up. I'd like to see this, too. No, you stay here with Zorn. He may need you when the equipment arrives. I wonder what this thing is. I think it might be their cyclotron, Casey. We better get out of the way. We can hide it up in those rafters. Go ahead. you up quickly, Billy. Okay. Good luck, Billy. Thanks, Uncle Jim. You're too late, Drew. Whoever was inside is gone. Hmm. Here comes the truck. You boys, get inside and bring those cases out.
Back up and turn around, Slade. We're heading for the swamp. Right. That truck won't be able to go very fast. We shouldn't have much trouble following it. Jack Armstrong crowd is in a packing case on the truck. I'm sending the truck through the swamp. I understand. We'll stand by for further orders. Groot calling Marlin on the truck. I wonder why they're stopping. We'll soon find out. They're backing up to the swamp. They're up to something. I don't like this. Open that big case, Haynes. They're opening the packing case. They must know Billy's in it. All right, you, get out of there. Natives finally to rise in full revolt against the intruders? Is even their princess unable to protect the lives of our expedition? For the sensational answers, see Human Targets, Chapter 9 of Jack Armstrong, the All American Boy, at this theater next week. Attempting to learn the location of the secret laboratory, Billy gets into a packing case, which is to be taken there by truck. Zorn learns of this and now plans a trap for the unsuspecting Billy. As the truck reaches the edge of a swamp... Open that big case, Haynes. They're opening the packing case. They must know Billy's in it. All right, you, get out of there.
about the Marines landing in time. You Maloney's natives certainly saved the day for us. Someone knew you were hidden in that packing case, Billy. We're dealing with clever enemies. This island's full of enemies, Jack. Well, we've accounted for one. All we can do now is chase after the others. I'm afraid they've got too much of a start, but it's worth a try. We were doing our best to pick them off when something happened. We had all we could do to get into the truck and escape with our lives. Go on, Blair. What happened? Then we were attacked by Eumann and about a hundred of his natives. A hundred natives? Are you sure? Yeah, all of that. They came swarming at us like hornets. Then the situation is more serious than I thought. Too many natives joining Eumann. We're going to lose our hold on the natives unless we act fast. Well, you say the word and we'll wipe out Eumann and all of his tribesmen. Yeah. In the same manner that you eliminated Jack Armstrong and the Fairfields, I suppose. Never mind, Marlin. What else can we do? Keep ourselves in the clear by enlisting Naga's aid. I wouldn't trust that tribal leader any farther than I could throw a ship's anchor. Perhaps not. But Naga's valuable. He's been blinded by my promises of great personal power. Naga's got a lot of followers, and they'll do as he orders. Suppose they refuse. We have one great friend on this island. Superstition. These savages will be very quick to obey when they hear the voice of their ancient god, Exalta. God, Exalta, have watched with displeasure the presence of four unfriendly whites on your sacred island. I have seen them invade your village, your homes, murder your people, and divide your tribe into embittered, warring factions. These trespassers are disciples of death. They seek to destroy you and then steal your lands and wealth for themselves. I, Exalta, command you to act. Exalta has spoken. does this ceremony take place? I gave no orders. No, Princess Allura. The authority comes from a greater power. Exalta has spoken. Exalta? And what would appease his wrath this time? The death of the four white strangers who have invaded this island. No, you must not harm them, Naga. They came here as friends to seek one who is missing. Their evil tongues hide the truth. They are enemies and must die. Exalta has willed it. Exalta is wrong. I forbid you to carry out this unjust command. Do you dare scorn the wishes of our immortal god, Exalta? I dare to question the identity of the voice calling itself our god. It is strange that Exalta has been stilled for many generations, suddenly speaks again and again like someone unknown to us, mocking the true Exalta. 
Here your princess defile the name of Exalta. The white demons have poisoned her thoughts. You cannot believe this, my people. It is untrue. You are a traitor. You have violated the sanctity of this sacred grotto. In the name of Exalta, I condemn you to a traitor's death. Seize her. Remove her. To the For the execution, we must have one other to die with the princess. Who, Naga? Yomala. He has also defied Exalta by aiding the white demons. Yomala must die with Alora. But his tribesmen are loyal. They'll never give him up to you. Then we must use cunning. Songwe can be trusted. You will go secretly to Yomala's camp and bring back the traitor. It will be done. Do not fail. Then you will have your reward. to me like a wild goose chase. Yes, I was afraid we'd never be able to locate that truck. We should have seen some sign of it, Uncle Jim. I wonder what they did with it. They probably have it concealed in some secret place. But well, we better get back to camp. Betty will be wondering what happened to us. Those drums mean? They usually mean the natives are up to no good. drums and Yumala's disappearance may be tied up together. By following the sound of those relayed messages, we may be able to locate where Yumala's being taken. Well, we can't all go. We'd be spotted too easily. I'll take over the job. Wait, Jack. We'll draw lots from numbered slips of paper. The high man gets the job. There's paper in the hut, Uncle Jim. Here it is, Uncle Jim. He's gone. But where? He wouldn't start off by himself, would he? I'm afraid he would, Betty. We'll have to try to follow him. You stay here. But why can't I go along? Jack may come back, and one of us should be here. Oh, all right, Uncle Jim.
your struggles are hopeless. At the setting sun, you will be taken to the place of execution. sacrifice is near. The sun will soon be down. Get on your way to your camp, Yumla. We'll catch up with you. You shouldn't come here. They intend to kill you. Go quickly. Yeah, we'll both go. white demon whom great god Exalta has delivered to us. You will die too with Allura. Oh my Tatawa! Ah! It's Yumla. Yumla! Yumla! Jack went to the village to find you. Have you seen him? Yeah, he saved me. I go for help. Where is he? At the village. Free princess. Well, let's go. Exalta is a kind god. Has no wish to end life too quickly. He permits you to enjoy slow death. So, Mac. Zelta will be avenged. What treacherous game is Gregory Pierce playing now? What is this fearful new weapon that's being brought into action by the conspirators? Next week in this theater, see the plot unfold further in Battle of the Warriors, Chapter 10 of Jack Armstrong, The All-American Boy. Jack Armstrong, Jack Armstrong, the All-American Boy!
Jack tries to rescue the native princess as her people rise in revolt against her. But both are captured by the treacherous Naga. And now, while Yumala leads a belated rescue party toward the village, Jack and the princess face death by primitive native torture. It's Yumala. Yumala! Yumala! Jack went to the village to find you. Have you seen him? Yeah, he saved me. I go for help. Where is he? At the village. Free Princess. Well, let's go! Exalta will be avenged. Say I am taboo. For this, I have stayed away from this village. But now I come back to say, I am not taboo, but one among you is evil. I say it is Naga who deceives you. We will let our great god Exalta say which one is evil. I alone will meet Naga in battle. If I die, white man, princess, will be sacrificed. If Naga die, White man, princess, go free! Exalt O oh great God! Tell my people, which one speaks truth? Naga accepts. My people, I do not fear. We can't let Yumla do this. We've got to stop them. You must not interfere. It is a custom of my people. But Naga's the strongest warrior of your tribe. Yumla won't have a chance. You heard Yumla say Exalta will decide. It is better so.
Zalta has spoken. Let all my people bow to his will. Hey, Jacqueline. Something wrong? I don't know, but Jacqueline and I are going to investigate. You better notify Drew that the natives are up to something. And I'll say that you'll report later? Yes, we'll all check in at the trading post. Right. Your friends Jack Armstrong and the Fairfields don't seem to stand in so well with the natives. What are you trying to say? Perhaps that trouble Blair spoke of means that something's happened to them. Incidentally, you're not in too good a spot yourself. Oh, the natives don't even know I'm alive. And they won't even know when you're dead. That's not all you wanted to say. I only know what I hear, and in this place I hear plenty. I think your number's up, Mr. Pierce. Your trick won't work. You can't turn us against each other. All right, but don't mention it to Groot. I'd hate to have him hear that I was doing any talking. Groot, Colin. This is Zorn. Is Pierce in the laboratory? Yes, he's here. Let me talk to him. All right. Pierce! What is it, Drood? There's some items missing, and I want you to go to the mill and check on them. Marlin will meet you there. I'll go there immediately. What were you and Pierce talking about? Oh, just a little personal chat. We knew each other back on the mainland. It isn't healthy to talk too much, Mr. Hardy. Be sure you remember that. table one at a time. You first, Marlin. Lobart. Slade. Now get away from that table. Over there. Just so you won't be tempted. What's the idea, Pierce? I've got some talking to do. I know what Groot's up to. He thinks I've outlived my usefulness, but he's wrong. The thing that surprises me is that you're not wise to him. You know, none of you are any more used to him. What's going to happen to you? You're talking over your head. You know I'm not, Marlin. When it comes time for the payoff in the big scheme, Groot is going to count you out the same as he wants to count me out. But you can get a better break. I'll give it to you. Well, that's mighty big of you, Pierce. But it's still all talk. Who's been furnishing all the stuff Groot's been working with? I have. And I know more about it than anybody else. Now, with a little help, I can take over. Keep talking, Pierce. They've got a little gadget in the lab. A beam gun. We can get a hold of it. And take over the whole works, including Groot. And anybody who helps me comes in for a full cut, no double cross. Now, does that begin to make sense? He's right, Marlin. You know, I could have drilled the three of you, but I didn't. So that ought to start us off straight. Well, how do we know you can carry it through? I figured that all out, too. Now, let's get comfortable, and I'll tell you my plan. Thank you. 
It is good we are all once more together. Proclaim to all my people that Yumala and these people are our friends. Princess Alara, we've made plans to drive the other white people from your island. We think we'll find them somewhere in the caverns. There is a secret grotto under the temple grounds. With your help, we'll storm their hiding place. My first words, O oh Princess, is that our warriors join in fight for our island home. Order the best fighters of our tribe to be ready when the moon comes up out of sea. We'll attack tonight at the cavern entrance, at the grotto, and at the fire pit. bringing us some more news. You bring news? All together, Kanaka come along three fellow white men. You mean the natives are going to join up with Jack Armstrong and the Fairfields? Tonight, big fight. Kill them all together, you fellow. You're going to attack tonight? When the moon come up. Thanks, Tabori. We'll be ready for them. You give him something big, this fellow? We'll make you king of the island. King? Mm. Blair, Jacqueline. We've got a lot of trouble on our hands tonight. We're going to the laboratory. We've got plenty of work to do. Is the cosmic beam ready? It's ready, and we await only the opportunity to demonstrate it. Hmm. What's your opinion, Hardy? There's no doubt that we isolated a new element, Silurium. And you're positive of its action? Yes. As we control this disintegration, a cosmic beam will result, generating heat equal to the temperature of the sun. Is the gun prepared? Both the gun and the activating tube. Well, you'll get your chance to demonstrate it tonight. Jack Armstrong and the Fairfields, with all the natives helping them, are going to attack. Yeah, they should make an ample target for our demonstration. Well, directly up the door, set up the gun at the location we decided on. Right. It's all ready to operate, Professor. Good. Weckler, you and Lessup stand by for action. There's a guard stationed at every entrance to the sacred grotto. Well. Aren't you going to stay and watch the results? No, I'll watch it from the laboratory. I think we'd better separate here, Uncle Jim. All right, you and Billy circle the right. We'll go this way. Thank you. 
possess this new weapon that seems to hold the balance of power? How long can Jack hope to combat the powerful forces arrayed against him? See the thrilling answers in Cosmic Annihilator, Chapter 11 of Jack Armstrong, The All-American Boy, at this theater next week.